apologise if that's wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. That's probably a neutral one. Um, so, Ahmed Rashid Chowdhury, also known as Tuttle, is a publisher, writer, and editor. In 1990, Tuttle started publishing and editing the magazine Shudashah, meaning Pure Voice. The magazine soon became a platform for young and unconventional writers in Bangladesh. In February 2004, Chowdhury opened his publishing house in Dhaka under the same name, primarily printing works of open-minded open -minded and progressive writers in his country. Since 2013, Bangladesh has seen an escalation of anti-secular violence and an increase in attacks on freedom of expression, which the state authorities have failed to tackle. 2004 saw, uh, 2015 sorry, saw the murders of four distinguished bloggers, Avijit Roy, Rashakir Rahman, Anatta Bijoy Das and Niloy Chakrabarti, three of whom were close friends and associates of Chowdhury. On the day of Avijit Roy's murder, he received the first death threat by his Facebook account. He reports that his picture and that of the Shudhashar officers were posted online with a message that he would be killed and that the officers would be set on fire for publishing works of the so-called atheist writers. Chowdhury filed a case with a section of the Dark Metropolitan Police, however, he was only advised to be careful and not to move around too much, and told that Bangladesh is not a suitable place to publish the sort of books he prints. He was not given any protection by the authorities. After reporting the threats to the police, he began receiving telephone death threats from various unknown numbers and forced to change his number. His wife, also a writer and blogger closely linked to Shudder Shah, also began to receive telephone death, death threats. On 31st of August, uh, October 2015, a group of men barged into Shudder Shah's darker office. Witnesses reported that one of the assailants had initially claimed to want to buy a book, but once inside declare, declared, we're here to kill Tuttle. They attacked Chowdhury and two other writers with machetes and guns, leaving Chowdhury in a critical condition before locking the wounded men in the building from the outside. The same day, the officers of the Jagriti, Jagriti uh, Publishing House, which had also published writing by Abhijit Roy, was attacked, and the publisher, Faisal Arafan Deepon, was killed. Less than a week after the brutal attack, and while still in hospital, Chowdhury took to his computer to prove that he would not be silenced. He wrote, I am, I was, and I will be in the fight for free, free thinking. Stay with me, Bangladesh. As of early 2016, Tuttle has been living in exile with his family. Um, and recently, I, I read an interview with him um, and was talking to him. And, his, and in the interview, a response to one of the questions, which as a question to someone who's in exile, seemed like quite a blunt, uh, quite, quite a blunt jugular sort of a question. But it was, what do you miss most about Bangladesh? To which he replied simply, myself which seems like quite a stark encapsulation of how much um, what was personal was political and tied to everything he was doing. In October 2016, he was named winner of the International Writer of Courage Award, selected by Margaret Atwood. Shudha Shah continues to publish and support writing committed to cultural and social movements, and this year, in its sixth online issue, celebrated its first year of online presence, and 27 years since its inception of refusing to be silenced. Uh, the poem I'm going to read is called Shittishan, so this is for Tuttle. Self-censored, beheaded hen, counts backwards from when beep to blue it was the maybe flight, the someday roosting broody thought that rakes the grass and mud for scratch and turns over kernels dropped from the Empyrean to see in them the promise speaking out from air to build a clutch of eggs. Gender-based attacks, I have severed myself in halves. Vexatious case, scoured through evenings and nights. Destruction of equipment slash property in the entirety of my eyes. Stamped out, choked down, yoked, dumb acts like eyes shut before hatch from open mouth spoken to spoken for. Battery set heading for no, maybe light, but forced to swallow what it was, along with red feathers, no flight, burials and back-to-back -back clipped wings, brushing rooms of those that like you have heard. Minor assault means I am unable to breathe. Criminal defamation case, plucked the cloud. Abduction means my head touches the concrete ceiling. So-called it cramps tongue to caution the open eyes and breach of taking air. Followed tick to louse in hounding scared bodies leached of any more than just body and taught to scare a language back inside the flesh. This state faith, no faith in state and stateless faith in more than a state of face down beaten almost silence. 
threat slash intimidation means the sky is on the other side of the window. Cadres means born blind in your pursuit. Arrest and police remand await my stretched hand. Painted stairs eye to golden eye, opiate and slick circled on a rickshaw's pageant. To see queasy lip to sunlit blade and watch as elsewhere others eyeless turn. Advise to be careful and not to move around too much. To respect the impunity of threats made real and written on the body and forget those threatening to write or writing under threat. Serious bodily injury means air and light on the other side of the window. The term killing means where did you disappear? Not the compliance of headless chickens made to cross the ode from throats, to commit hysteric blank in shine, twisted beak and head down from sky, as if any of these words might be taken with the body, or found buried in the neck. Voice in grain, picked like gristle from its passage in the air, is a lie. There is as nothing that without living still survives. <laughs> and reading next will be Mona Arshi for Zara Dwight.